Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review On the Trail of Bigfoot, The Journey. And this is a new documentary from director Seth Breedlove, who, which is interesting because I was watching this film and I'm like, this has a similar vibe to something that I watched something time last year, and it has that kind of, like, narrative vibe and a feel to it. Oh yeah, it was the Mothman documentary, Mo the Mothman Legacy, and then I realized when I looked deeper into it, it's the same guy. So, makes a whole lot of sense. And this is a documentary focusing on the search for Bigfoot, and it has that kind of feel to it. And it's similar in that he seems to really like looking into these creatures, these beings that have legend and mythos around them, and he likes to put a spotlight on them. The documentaries definitely are low budget. It feels like I'm watching a TV survival show in terms of the quality of the filmmaking and stuff like that, and feels very much like it's a home movie made with a small camera on a very small budget, which you feel it but isn't necessarily a bad thing in terms of especially something like a documentary. There's a lot of narration over it that's really setting the tone, and that's definitely something that Seth Breedlove did in his Mothman films as well. And it has this very specific kind of style, like similar to the Mothman ones, where it's a very traditional documentary style in terms of these interviews intercut with some visuals and some, like, like, it felt like right out of a Ken Burns thing at some points where it's just like the camera moving across like a map or something like that. But also there's some interesting visuals that they create with drawing or animation to try to bring a little life to the documentary. And I appreciate that. And you could definitely tell there's a passion here for legends and creatures that are might be around and honestly I'm the kind of person who's like if these turn out to be real and somebody sees them I'm not going to be shocked but do I necessarily believe that they're a hundred percent out there not necessarily either so I just play it right down the middle but with a documentary like this there's a lot of people who share some interesting stories that they witnessed Bigfoot Sasquatch Yeti Wendigo however you want to put it, even though, like, people will call it Wendigo, they mention that too, and, like, I know that has a completely different kind of backstory, but it has all these legends, and sometimes they all come together, and you have these people, and mixing with them telling these stories, you have shots of them, like, going through the Adirondack Mountains and giving this feel of, like, a nature show, and there's a variety of experts that come in that set up the, like, geography of the area, experts that set up different kinds of aspects. There's a lot that went into this, and I really appreciate that about the film. And there's some bigger moments, like, towards the end of the film, they get on a chopper and, like, going over these beautiful mountains and everything. And, you know, you have the ending of the film where... You have Seth Breedlove just laying it all out there. Beautiful shots of this mountain range and upstate New York. And you just have this moment of like thinking about, like this isn't an investigation where it's like, we found Bigfoot. No, but you have them going out and looking for this and trying to tell this story and trying to educate people. And even though it's not the biggest budget, it's not the was technically sound and it's not the most like crisp and very refined kind of documentary in the end I learned something and I appreciated the passion in it so I can give back a lot of credit and in with this film Seth Breedlove injects his passion his search and his vision for it and that's something I enjoyed for an hour and 35 minutes. But those are my thoughts on On the Trail of Bigfoot, The Journey. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.